Image Blender has been used to create many short films which proved that it is capable of generating high quality results. In this video we will see how Blender grew as a 3D software through the films it was used to create in its early stages until the current Blender we have today. Number 12 Elephant's Dream Elephant's Dream is a 2006 Dutch computer animated science fiction film. It was an experimental short film produced by the Blender Foundation. In May 2005, Ton Rezundel announced the project and the primary piece of software used to create the film was Blender. In addition of course to several free open source software, the project was funded by the Blender Foundation and the Netherlands Media Art Institute. The foundation raised most of the funding for the project by selling pre-orders of DVDs and production began in September 2005 under the code name Orange by a team of seven artists and animators from around the world. It was later named Machina and then finally renamed Elephant's Dream. The primary purpose of the project was to field test, develop and showcase the capabilities of Blender and demonstrating what Blender can do in organizing and producing quality content for films. During the film's development, several new features were added to Blender, such as an integrated node-based compositor, hair and for rendering, rewritten animation system, and render pipeline, and many other workflow tweaks and upgrades. The film reportedly took 125 days to render. Elephant's Dream received the award of Best Short Film at the first European 3D Festival in 2010, and in 2008, it was included in the Museum of Modern Arts Design and Elastic Mind exhibit. Number 11 Big Buck Bunny Big Buck Bunny, codenamed Project Peach, is a 2008 short computer animated comedy film featuring animals of the forest. Unlike the earlier project, the tone and visuals departed from a cryptic story and dark visuals to one of comedy, cartoons, and lightheartedness. Following Elephant's Dream 2006, Big Bug Bunny is the first project by the Blender Foundation to be created by the Blender Institute, a division of the foundation set up specifically to facilitate the creation of open content films and games. Work began in October 2007 and the film was funded by the Blender Foundation by donations from the Blender community and pre-sales of the film DVDs and commercial sponsorships. As in Elephant's Dream, Blender developers worked extensively to improve the software in accordance with the needs of the movie team. Improvements were made in hair and for rendering, the particle system, UV mapping, shading, the render pipeline, constraints, and skinning. Also introduced during the project was approximate ambient occlusion, and these features were released to the public with Blender version 2.46. Number 10, Sintel. Sintel, codename Project Jurian during production, is a 2010 computer animated fantasy short film. It was the third Blender open movie and it was produced by Ton Rosendahl, chairman of the Blender Foundation. It was made at the Blender Institute. The plot follows a character called Sintel who's tracking down her dragon pet named Scales. Just like the other Blender open movies, the film was made using Blender. Work began in May 2009, and as with the previous Blender Open Movie project, Blender developers worked extensively to improve the software in accordance with the needs of the movie team. Improvements were made to the user interface, the particle system, sculpting, shading, the render pipeline, constraints, and smoke simulation. These features were released to the public with Blender version 2.5 alpha through version 2.54 beta. The film was officially released on 27th September 2010 at the Netherlands Film Festival. Actually on April 2014, Sintel was temporarily blocked from viewing on the Blender Foundation's YouTube channel after Sony Pictures issued a takedown notice claiming it owned the copyright to the film. Dutch daily newspaper featured a capture of the film on its front page along with a short review describing it as darker and less accessible to the child-friendly predecessors but also stating that image quality detail and characters of the film is on par with Hollywood animations. Number 9 Tears of Steel 
Tears of Steel codename Project Mango is a short science fiction film produced by Tony Rosendahl and director and writer Ian Hubert. Work began in early 2012. The film is both live action and CGI. It was made using new enhancements to the visual effects capabilities of Blender. Set in dystopian future, the short film features a group of warriors and scientists who gather in Amsterdam in a desperate attempt to save the world from destructive robots. Tears of Steel is the fourth film for the Blender Foundation, following Elephant's Dream, Big Bug Bunny, and Sintel, and it was created by the Blender Institute. Like the previous Blender open movie project, the Blender developers and community work together to provide a movie studio style production workflow for the team. The results are a complete open source pipeline for visual effects work in Blender including but not limited to camera tracking, rotoscoping, compositing, and color grading. Number 8. Coming on this. It is an independently produced series of computer animated short films produced and released by the Blender Foundation. The films inspired by the cartoons Chuck Jones were created using Blender, Floss which is an open source software, GIMP which is also a free and open source raster graphics editor. The film won the 2014 Jerry Goldsmith Award for the best score for an animated short film at the International Film Music Festival in Spain. Number 7. Cosmos Laundromat Cosmos Laundromat, developed under the code name Project Gooseberry, is an animated absurdist sci-fi fantasy short film produced by Ton Rosendale. It is the Blunders Institute fifth open movie project and was also made using Blunder. The film was intended to kickstart a feature length film or series. The story is about a desolate island, a suicide chief named Frank meets his fate in the form of a quirky salesman named Vector, who offers him the gift of a lifetime. In January 2010, Tom Rosinda announced 13 animation studios from all around the world, including the Blunder Institute, were set to make the film. The goals of the film, according to Tom Rosendale, were to raise the bar for the Blunder Institute with the idea of making a feature-length animated film using completely free and open-source software, and investigate the use of cloud services for open-source projects, and to create a new business model for the Blunder Foundation. Through the funding raised for the production of the film, the Blunder Foundation was able to improve on existing and new features to Blunder. Cosmos Laundromat has received positive reviews from critics and animators alike. At Seagraph 2015, various people from Pixar, Walt Disney Animation Studios, DreamWorks, ILM, and Sony Imageworks praised the film for the storytelling, the character animation, and visuals. However, two main critics it received were about the beginning of the scene when Frank tries to hang himself and the use of bad language. Number 6. Glass Half In 2015, the Blunder Institute produced a three-minute cartoon short with a simple story, snappy animation, and rendered in a non-photorealistic style. The focus was on short-form storytelling, good design, and clear animation. Two amateur art critics meet in a gallery and argue passionately about the pieces they see, causing chaos for everyone else until finally they find a piece on which they can agree. Number 5. The Daily Dweebs The Daily Dweebs is a pilot episode of an animated series revolving around the pet Dixie and his shenanigans in the 1950s American suburbia. The title is referencing, among other things, the everyday silliness that the characters constantly find themselves in. This pilot episode was created by the Blender Animation Studio and made possible with support from thousands of people from all around the world via subscription to the Blender Cloud. Number 4. Hero Hero is a showcase for the Grease Pencil in Blender 2.8. It is the sixth short film funded by the Blender Cloud. The original Grease Pencil technology has been in Blender for many years now, and it already got the attention of story artists in animation industry worldwide. The Grease Pencil is meant to push the boundaries and allows feature quality animation production in Blender 2.8 and beyond. The Hero Animation Showcase is the fruit of collaboration between Blender developers and the team of artists based in Spain. Number 3. Agent 327 the Blunder Institute is going to develop its first animated feature film based on the celebrated Dutch comic character Agent 327. 
this adventurous comedy is targeted at an international market. The Blender Institute seeks additional funding to kickstart the production in the Netherlands of a high-end 3D animated CG feature film. Number 2. Spring Spring is the story of a shepherd girl and her dog who faces ancient spirits in order to continue the cycle of life. Actually, the team used the development version of Blender 2.8 for the entire production, even before the software was in official beta. The film won the Best Short Film Award at the International Animation Festival. Number 1. Next Gen Next Gen is a 2018 computer animated science fiction film that is based on the online Chinese comic 7723 by Wang Nima. This is actually not a short film, but it is a complete feature film created with Blender. It tells the story of Mai Su, a lowly rebellious teenager living in the world where a sentient robot technology is commonplace, and 7723, a top secret weaponized robot who through a chance encounter meet each other and form a likely bond that they must use to stop vicious threat. The film was released on Netflix in September 2018. It was announced that Netflix had purchased Next Gen for $30 million. I hope you found this video entertaining and useful. If you have something to add, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.